this is Dr. Otto Janke for a very, very special New York Chiropractic Council podcast. Um, we're here with uh, a very good friend of mine who's the vice president of the council. It's Dr. Greg Rubenstein. Rubenstein. Greg, where are you at right now? Right now, I'm in my apartment in New York City, that beautiful little island just down south of you guys. <laughs> New York City! <laughs> That's like pictured it. Uh, what's the weather like there today? You know, we got a pretty sunny day, a little breezy. Um, I had the uh, pleasure of being in the dental chair this morning and never went to work. So, uh, yeah, I had a crack the tooth when I was a kid, and every now and then those bondings fall out. So I was back for a little maintenance in the old dental chair. You recommend maintenance, by the way. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Big fan. Big fan. So just, to, just this last weekend, we we had our – the New York Chiropractic Council had their, new, uh, their uh, mid-year – uh, a mid-year convention up at the Turning Stone. First of all, uh, I think that event is one of the best events in chiropractic. I really enjoy that one every time. You know, that one of all three events that we put on every every year, that one's the most fun. You know, we, we have a little more stuff built in. We have the spa treatments, the golf outing. We have a lot more fellowship at that one. We always have a great lineup of speakers. And I love coming to Central New York. It's so beautiful. Even on the drive up, you know, just going through the valley, even on, on Route 90 heading west. It's just a gorgeous trip up there every time. And uh, the fellowship with the, with the docks that we don't always get to see, it, it's just a wonderful event. And we really learned a lot this year. And, you know, I've been going, you know, I think ever since it started, probably the past 15 years, it's been really a wonderful event for us. Yeah, I think it's... Uh... I hate to say it, but I think it's one of the best kept secrets in uh, chiropractic and we got to stop keeping it a secret. Uh, we should have a couple thousand people there uh, for the whole, the whole weekend. It's just uh, top to bottom. Just, uh, just so fun. Um, and one of the cool things about it is uh, so here, um, let's give the people the, uh, the parameters on. So on Friday, we have three speakers Saturday morning. We have two speakers first thing in the morning. Uh, we have speakers on yep. Sunday morning for we have three speakers on Sunday. But on Saturday afternoon at, at 12.30, we break for lunch. And we don't see each other again until 7.45 for dinner when we all get together. And we have time off just to either do nothing, hang out, and just relax, which is awesome. You can go and golf. And this is the craziest part about it. You can go golf on one of their elite professional PGA courses or what I do. I'm a spa head. I go in the spa and get one of the fantastic <laughs> massages there. And the crazy part about it is all of that is included in one price, which is the stupidest thing there ever was. That's crazy. I know, I know. But, you know, it gives us a lot of joy to see people, you know, out relaxing and, and really fellowshipping. And you can't even, you know, we can't forget the breakfast that we have. They always serve us a nice hearty breakfast before the speakers go on. And the fellowshipping is going on there, too. Um, and really what makes it such a strong event is, you know, getting to hang out with the speakers. And, you know, one of the things, you know, people always ask me, you know, why do I serve on, on the board? You know, it, it's like we're not paid for any of this. We don't really get anything for free. But I get to hang out with the brightest minds in chiropractic, you know, behind the scenes and, and just really get to talk to them after their presentations and really spend time with these top speakers. And what an honor it is to hang out with them. And, and while, while I'm on the subject, Otto, you know, we've known each other a good probably 20 years or so. And the progression that I've seen in you and in your professional speaking and, and all the things that you're doing in chiropractic is truly an incredible thing to, to see. And I'm just so honored to be working with you and honored to be spending time with you. I'm glad I wasn't picked to be on, a, on Otto in the morning. Morning, so I didn't have to get up too early. Um, but, you know, watching podcasts and, and your speaking and your style, everything really elevating your game. And, and thank you so much for all you do for the council, all you do for chiropractic. It's, it's just great. And, and thanks. Uh, my love is uh, expressed that way. And uh, we have to go back at you for putting the time for uh, uh, a non-glorious position of being the VP because uh, you don't get the uh, you know you don't get the big swag of, of of flying the big banner being the president, but you do the hard work behind the scenes, and that's uh, it ain't easy, but it's, uh, it's much appreciated. Thank you, Otto. I appreciate that. Uh, here's one of the cool things you just talked about: it is I get to interview a lot of these docs for the podcast and stuff, and and I get to, like special time with them, and, and we'll talk about two of them coming up. But uh, our first speaker on Friday was, was Lori Holt, who was uh, sponsored by uh, NCMIC. She had the, it's a tough thing to talk about. You talk about boundaries and ethics and stuff, 
I thought she did a real good job with it. I really enjoyed her presentation style. You know, she comes across with that Southern drawl and she kind of came, came out and said some things, how people make assumptions that she's not an intelligent person because of it and you know really kind of talked about that with the professional boundaries and making assumptions about people um really a, a great style you know it, it's like you know she's so understated she's not a flashy dresser but you know she really talked about herself and how those things apply and it was a wonderful presentation coming from a different slant you know that we normally see and yeah she had to cover some of the the doom and gloom and the scary things that happen in the profession but you know what? It's good to make those things known to, to our doctors and making sure that they don't fall into the same pitfalls. We can learn from other people's mistakes. And uh, what a wonderful presentation. And I was really grateful for her presentation style and really delivering that message. Yeah, then we went on to uh, a guy I followed. I followed his dad, uh, actually, when I was at Palmer, uh, Dr. Don Harrison. But we had Dr. Deed Harrison bringing on the research. Because you know, here's the thing about the council. We try to cover. We try to cover the philosophy, the art, the science, the research, the business. We try to do all of it at the same time because that, that's that's your practice right there. Uh, but Dr. Deed Harrison brought the energy, brought the, the probably, uh, I would say, the smartest guy in the room, pretty much any room he goes into. And he shows the research of how chiropractic, when you build the posture better, there are just boatloads of things that happen to you that make you so much healthier. It is I love, I could, I could listen to him every single day. And it's really amazing, you know, how that research and, and those graphs that he shows and, and the changes in the curves and the results he gets and that they're repeatable by anybody. And, and, you know, the success rate that he's had and really starting to bring it to people um, so they can get a basic understanding. And it's important to have all this research. You know, he's one of the most published researchers in chiropractic, if not the most published researchers. And what an honor to have him you know, come and speak to us and share that research and, and really, you know, give it away. And, and uh, you know, there's so few people who really bring it to, like that from that real intellectual level. And it, it was great to see him and everyone was lit up in the room. People were taking notes like crazy. And uh, what a what a fantastic speaker. And that's, I think, our second or third time we've had him. Again, I could listen to him. Um, he, he gets deep. He's, he's scientific about so I could listen to him 24 hours a day. Next week, to finish off Friday, we had uh, Dr. George Curry, who came in and showed, showed how chiropractic, the history of chiropractic and mental uh, uh, diseases, mental emotional diseases and chiropractic has been helping these people, this sector of people for 110 years, 120 years. And it's phenomenal. I thought George did a great job, really put the spirituality in this. And it, it, was, it was a fantastic talk. Yeah, you know, and George is amazing and, and really touched upon the history and really talked about, you know, the, the Clearview Sanitarium and all the great things that happened there. And, you know, one of the things and one of the people who's really carried that torch um, is Dr. Steve Judson. He really talk, talks a lot about mental health and in and, and, and his practice um, and really talks about depression and how he works with these people. Um, he's got a really powerful story, and we're going to try and bring him back for a future event. He's become so popular speaking that it's been hard to nail him down, but we've definitely been looking forward to that. And I think that will be a nice addition, almost parlaying off of what George spoke about and really bringing it up and what he's doing in modern times. So it, it's another exciting thing that I look forward to with hopefully getting the council to bring him on again. Yeah, you know the uh, the history of of, uh, of the of the sanitariums. I forget there was like there's been like I forget the number, but fifteen uh, chiropractic sanitariums, specifically chiropractic sanitariums, and they were they all flourished right before the 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 advent, uh, advent of uh, pharmaceuticals. And these people were getting not good results; they were getting back into life results, and that was just fantastic history he put on there, and uh, totally appreciate that. On uh, Saturday morning, we started. All, I'm sorry, just all the case studies were amazing, you know, and, and you know, actually, George, he, reading some of the case studies out loud really drove it home. And I didn't know there were that many case studies and there was that much documentation on that. It was cool to kind of see that. <laughs> it's uh, it, it's amazing. Uh, did you get his uh, his uh, PDF on all that? You know, I have not gotten that yet. Or maybe it might be in an email that I that I haven't checked. But uh, you know, we're always flooded with emails and everything coming in. But I'll take a look for it. And, and if I haven't gotten it, I'll hit you up and you can forward it to me. Absolutely. 
on Saturday. So on, uh, we break on for Friday night, Saturday morning, we get together for two speakers. I got to interview both of these for the council. And it was uh, uh, the first one, Dr. Alan Sokoloff, I'd never heard of before. So I have to go back and I do the research on these and I read up all of them. And you go like, holy crap, this guy's like the leader of what he does. And I, I was like, how come we did not know this guy? And he is the, he is the <laughs> doctor for the uh, two-time uh, Super Bowl champion, uh, Baltimore Ravens. He's also the chiropractor for the Baltimore Orioles. He's also the chiropractor, the chiropractor for uh, the University of Maryland. A fantastic guy, got great stories, shows you, hey, listen, you've got people who are, it might be the professional athlete, the elite athlete, the local high school, college athlete, or it might be the weekend warrior. We're seeing these people in our practice all the time and we even know it. Yeah, and he was amazing. And, and, you know, just another kudos to you. I'm going to slip in there. I saw that podcast interview you did with Alan. And, you know, it was so great. I know you did your research of just the way you were asking the questions, um, really op- got him to open up and really share a lot of those great stories. And he shared a ton of the stories in his presentation there. Um, I remember seeing, um, I think on Facebook, people were posing wearing his Super Bowl ring that he had and, and all that stuff, the stories he told. And, you know, what was great about, um, you know, his story and how he got into all these great teams was really just persistence, as Dr. Sid would say, persistency. Um, it was amazing how, you know, and, and how he got discouraged and other people, you know, were trying to keep him out. And eventually he just made the right connections and people were asking. So it, it's just an amazing story to show that if you're persistent and follow your passions, the door is open for you. Yeah. And it's, uh, it's fantastic. He's helping me with our, our local college up here. Then we had uh, a very good friend of mine, a local boy from uh, up in the Cicero area uh, upstate is uh, Dr. Joe Borio, who. Joe has, Joe has, uh, he was sponsored by, uh, first of all, Alan was sponsored by Cairo Health USA and uh, Dr. Joe Borio sponsored by Cairo Passion Consulting. Uh, what's amazing about Dr. Borio is he can take, first of all, he can be as funny as anything, anybody you'll meet here. And second of all is he inspires you with the, the, the deep heartfelt philosophy of chiropractic. And then he hits you left and peppers you left and right with the deep all the research you ever needed and you're going like and then he tells you about all the stuff. he's like how does that guy do this stuff and the next thing he's talking about hey you boom buzz hey, and then you go bum bum and it's he's one of my best speakers and i, I could watch joe's my one i could watch 24 hours a day you know and, and you know the consulting group Cairo passion is it's named appropriately he has all the passion and one of the things that's great about Oreo is, is his authenticity because you know he made it out through the trenches he practiced he practiced what he preached and he's sharing that knowledge with people and you know he was very successful and really just a great presentation style and again these are the guys that we love having on our stage because you know they're you know a lot of people preach the same message but the style in which they give it and keeping people engaged he's always been great at that and so wonderful to see that and you know really talked about communication and what a great communicator he was so a great a great show as well i think he's uh i think he's one of the best in the profession at doing uh, just that so then we we have lunch and we break for lunch many people went and golfed we did something special this year is uh the, the council put together a a caravan to a local winery uh, something really neat and people were like man this is really cool we didn't think we were going to be able to do this and it was it was coming at the last minute and we did this and we had such we had rave reviews about that too you know Otto, um there's a little bit of a backstory to that i'd love to share it a little bit you know we were going to turning stone and there were certain things that were not in the contract and omitted and and for some reason we were struggling getting spa appointments like they didn't reserve them for us and we had to really think on our feet and the convention committee, um, you know, Nicole McVean stepped in, Anish really helped out. And, you know, we were just sitting there and we're like, what are we going to do? We were panicking and we're like, you know, well, we're right in the middle of wine country. Why don't we just do a wine tasting? And the stroke of luck is like, you know, we called this little winery that was close by and they also had spa treatments available and, and a wonderful food taste to my understanding as well and you know just we adapted to the situation rolled with it and it worked out really great and I think that's something we're talking about continuing uh, for next year and uh, what a great job you know the convention committee put that together you know Donna and everyone on it it was just an actually amazing like you know pull a rabbit out of the hat kind of thing yep uh chairperson for that is Dr. Donna DeRosa so then we uh we do that I actually got uh, a, a last minute uh, spa and um 
I, I tried to make it for uh, the whole spa treatment without snoring, but uh, I did. I I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> Uh, so then we meet later on at 25, and, and I got, once again, uh, this doesn't happen very often. I got to uh, sit down and uh, have about a half hour, 45 minute talk with Dr. Sokoloff and one of our other speakers, Dr. Brian Dooley. Um, I sat down with both of them and just chatted with them and it actually went to lunch with Dr. Dooley. Uh, this doesn't happen much, but at, uh, at Turning Stone, we get to do this. We encourage it. We ask our speakers to be available. They enjoy it. Uh, and, you know, many times I, when I go speak places, sometimes you're the you're the only person, you know, uh, at the Turnstone, we don't allow that to happen. We greet you. We assign people to you that uh, take care of you. You got their you have their phone number. They have their your phone number. So you're yep. taking care of it. And one thing we want you to, we want you to be there, have fun, engage. We want you to, we want you as a speaker to stay for the whole weekend. Yep. And it was fun to be the speaker liaison. You know, you help them out and answer any of their questions. And again, it's another great way to get close to the, the greatest minds of the profession. And if any of our members, you know, want to be a speaker liaison to a specific speaker, just send us an email. We can arrange it. Super, super simple. Uh, then we start off Sunday morning and we go with Dr. Sokoloff, did two hours on Saturday morning, does two hours on Sunday morning, wraps up some of this stuff. Again, uh, goes in depth. Some of the stuff he shows, uh, I mean, he could do he could do two he could do two days just to talk about who he knows and who he's brushed uh, shoulders with. But uh, <laughs> uh, he goes and talks about some of the great stuff, how to work with teams, what to focus on, just great more great stuff again. And then we dive into uh, Dr. Brian Dooley, who's our 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 man at Sherman College of Chiropractic. Uh, he's a dean of clinics. Uh, again, I got to have um, uh, lunch with him on Saturday afternoon with Dr. Ralph Gratulis. And then had uh, met him later on, uh, a passionate person talking about the 33 principles of chiropractic. And if some people don't know what that is, shame on you. And second of all is <laughs> made it, he made it heartfelt. He connected it not only mentally, emotionally, but it made you think up here and then how you could practice with it too. And um, one, of the best, one of the best talks I've heard in a long time when someone's talking about the principles and that philosophy. You know, Otto, it was amazing. And we've been courting him for a while. And for one reason or another, haven't been able to really get, get him on our stage. And I, this was the first time I ever got to see him speak. And actually the first time I met him. Um, but one of the things that the council has been doing to get people familiar with the 33 principles is we have these philosophy connects. And right now we have two guys that have been very generous with their time. Um, one of them is uh, John McAtamney and the other one is Gary Benedetto. Both have like that PHCS designation. And we've been working the principles from the major premise up. And what Dr. Dooley offered to do for us is kind of go back the other way. Once we complete this series, and I think the next connect is, I think, uh, June 1st, the first Wednesday in June. And um, what he's going to do once we complete all 33, he's going to start from 33 and work them backwards to the major premise, which I think will be really exciting to go back the other way. So we have a lot of, you know, philosophy conversations and discussions, which I think are one of the biggest things that are missing because, you know, it's hard to really get excited about our philosophy when you don't really understand it. And we all know that trying to read a green book is labor and very difficult. Um, but when you get the background and you get more information, then you can actually go back to these green books and read them with deeper understanding and deeper meaning. And what a beautiful job Dr. Dooley did just really spending the whole two hours really just breaking down the major premise and, you know, using deductive reasoning. All of our 33 principles are deduced from that. And most of them are, are life principles. It's really only the last like 10 or 12 that are, are really the chiropractic principles. Um, so wonderful discussions, uh, an excellent presentation style that I found easy to digest and easy to understand. And yes, he kind of Socratically tried to draw things out of people using the Socratic method and really talking about the philosophy. And I was so pleased with that, that I would, you know, I wish we recorded that and could release that again because I'd watch that over and over. Uh, absolutely. And uh, I really liked his uh, presentation style. Very, very uh, straightforward, uh, subtle, you know, but uh, I enjoyed him tremendously. Our last speaker on Sunday uh, to finish out the weekend was Dr. Russ Abbotts, who, who brought together a, a, yeah, another guy who is a, a leader in this part of chiropractic, works, works with world-class athletes, track and field mostly. Uh, just fantastic. 
gave you the, and this could be, this once again could be massively overwhelming and you would turn off and go like, I don't see anybody. I never see any of these people in my practice until you realize every single one of your practice members, most of them have two feet. And it's like, well, this is a problem. Uh, He tells you how to, how to adjust them. Showed us right there, his techniques, his, his, his flawless uh, delivery of this. And uh, I had no idea. He's about 40 minutes, uh, 40 minutes away from me up on one of the lakes. Yep. What, what, you know, and he's presented before he was at our Lyceum working with our, our chiropractic assistant program, which was absolutely amazing. I got to stick my head in there for a little while. And what a generous man and, and sharing with uh, of his knowledge. And, um, you know, I think he's going to be someone that we're going to be hearing a lot more of. And, and I think his presence on the stage was just a great way to wrap it up. And, you know, being the last speaker, batting cleanup, sometimes it's a blessing, sometimes it's a curse, you know, because people want to get get on the road towards the end of a seminar. Um, and so, you know, really captivating and kept people in the room. So I, I was another really impressive show and, and closing it out. It was just absolutely wonderful. And, uh, you know, I, I was, you know, since we're talking about the CA program, I was wondering if we were going to talk a little bit about that. We have to, we have to. Uh, it's, uh, we put together a, a CA program. Not only is it a good CA, but a CA program, but our head CA became our executive director. I mean, that's how great she was. Uh, and that's the uh, Nicole McVean, who is now our executive director. And I, I think she, she came into this uh, with an open mind, open heart. And uh, this is her second thing, her second gig. And it's her first one up at Turning Stone with everything she had to juggle. You know, kudos to Nicole for uh, doing everything she does. I, I think we're in great, great hands for the next decade. Absolutely. You know, and, and she really had to, to think on the fly because, you know, the original CA program got a little uh, jammed up and we had to, you know, again, scramble for speakers. Um, and, you know, we had uh, Dr. Tim Kelly from Albany did, did two hours. Um, Jen Minor, I mean, Jen Steinberg stepped in and did a wonderful job. And I was called in to do an hour philosophy. And what an honor to share with these, you know, CAs. And, you know, we have such a wide breadth of experience in there. Some have been working with chiropractors for years um, and others have been, you know, only a couple of months. But to share the philosophy with them and see them light up and get excited about it. Um, was really great and to see how much some of these already know like Dr. Iram Tahir's group was there and they they're there every time and to see them was was just wonderful and you watch how these CAs develop because you know we've been seeing a lot of these for three or four years and you you really kind of get to know them when you stick your head in the room and present so a lot of fun a great program even you know at the last minute it all all got handled and uh, just showing how how great you know a team we have to really get these things together even in the face of some adversity so really a wonderful event and summing it up for sure. At the bottom again, it's uh, uh, I I enjoyed the venue. It's an it's an hour away from me, so I'll, I'll be a little uh, uh, you know a little uh, uh, sided on that you know easily. But uh, a great venue. They take care of us. Uh, and top to bottom, once again, our speakers uh, uh, in the convention committee headed up by uh, Dr. Donna DeRosa and the whole team, just fantastic. Uh, again, coming up on October 20, uh, 12th through uh, 13th, 14th to 15th, we go to Downstate, down to Terrytown. Uh, we're going to be down there for our yearly convention. And uh, people who want more information about that, go to our website, newyorkcouncil.com, and you see who we got coming yep. up. Sign up and uh, just, just sink in. Now, let us soak in not only what you're learning, but who you get to rub shoulders with, just like you were saying before. Yeah, it's an absolute honor and really a beautiful time. And I know I'm going to steal just one more second. I really want to give a shout out to Anish Bajaj, who really stepped up his game on the behind the scenes work. Um, he really did so much and really has been such an aid to me um, and, and helping with, with my job and, and really just doing a lot of behind the scenes work with the whole move of the central office up to central New York which we're really happy about and the new office is great and so i just so grateful for him really stepping up and increasing his participation over the past several years and we look forward to having more people come in you know clark hadley's getting excited he's going to be working uh kind of heading up our technique department um so we're really excited to have him and he's just loves all the technique gurus i was impressed just chatting with him how many different techniques he's been studying and really starting to learn more so looking forward to some really great things with all up and coming docs uh, that are helping out as well Otto. You know, we'd be uh, we'd be remiss to not uh, not to mention our, our new uh, president, also Dr. Brian Ludwig from uh, 
from Cobaskill who's uh, came on and said, listen, let's uh, let's make the, the council uh, a flagship. And we're not going to be uh, just a statewide organization. Our dreams and aspirations are to be a national uh, national uh, association in which everybody's going to want to listen to, uh, come to for information. Uh, we're going to be spreading this stuff out coast to coast with the most. And it's uh, we got some uh, lofty goals. And I, no doubt we can reach them. Yeah, excellent, Otto. Well, I got to say, it's been a real honor to be on with you. A great way to spend a little bit of a Friday afternoon. Um, and I look forward to hearing more great content coming from you that you've been pushing out and uh, just watching you grow, grow, grow. So uh, thanks for, for chatting with me. This is the New York Chiropractic Council podcast. We'd love to have you join us uh, every single time we're on and feel free to. Uh, and uh, any more information that you want, you go to nycouncil.com. This is my good friend, Dr. Greg Rubenstein, the Vice President of New York Chiropractic Council. I'm Otto Janke. Thanks for being with us. And make sure you come and join us again on the New York Chiropractic Council. Amen, brother. Have a great one. Enjoy your weekends, everybody.